top of the morning to you. This is Brian at BrianSime.com. I hope you are doing well. I had an adventure this morning because you know one of my core core pillars is adventure. Um, but it wasn't that kind of adventure. Do you have an emergency fund? Do you have it funded and filled up? We do. Um, but we didn't always have an emergency fund filled up that way. Um, but having an emergency fund is going to contribute to your abundance in life, your feeling of peace, and just your knowing that everything's going to be okay. Um, you know, if you don't have an emergency fund, everything's still going to be okay because God's got this. So, back to the emergency fund. Years ago, years ago, I was living on this side of Denver and I was working on this side of Denver and I was driving back and forth and driving back and forth and we had this old Jeep 2003 and we still have it but it took a sabbatical um, one day and it was a huge repair and I was driving lots of miles all the way across the city consuming tons of podcasts and doing online university not online automobile university as Zig Ziglar calls it and the car, the rear axle just pooped out. It just quit. And I'm like, oh boy. And sat down with my wife and we talked about our emergency fund. And we were able to take out of our emergency fund and pay cash. You shouldn't really do this. It's not the Dave Ramsey plan. But we paid cash for a nice little high mileage not high mileage, high gas mileage, little little itty bitty car, so I could do that commute all the way across, all the way across, all the way across, day after day after day. Um, and it was great for a season. It was so awesome to pay cash for that and refill our emergency fund um, along the way because we had enough to just go out and do that. Um, it kind of soared me. Um, I want to control everybody when they're being stupid I wish somebody would control me when I'm being stupid, and I wish I would get what they're saying. But we sold that car a few years later and fixed up the Jeep and got it going again. And the lady buying it from us met us at a bank and took out a loan to buy this old used car. It was nice looking. It had a little dent in it. Um, you shouldn't really take little good gas mileage. Um, it was a Kia, a little Kia. No, not a Kia. Um, it's almost like a Mini Cooper. A Fiat. A little Mini Fiat. A little red Fiat. And I took it way up in the mountains for my retreat when I was working on my life plan one year. But she bought it with credit. And I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure I should sell it to you or not. And I got scolded by her mom, who was there co-signing her loan. That's, that's, that's two red flags. Taking out a loan for a car. Consumer debt is bad don't have consumer debt and if you do start with your emergency fund and then get rid of that consumer debt it's it's removing your abundance it is creating adventure and then not the kind of adventure you're looking for so today I got up and our sump pump has a little alarm hanging down inside of it and the water was like uh, just a little bit below it and it was perfect so I loaded out the water by hand because I think I mentioned the other day our sump line is frozen. Um, so I pumped out the water. He came up, had breakfast with the kids. And as I'm taking Spencer out to the bus, the sump alarm, the alarm starts bleeping off. I'm like, I just emptied it. It must hold, I think our 20 gallon vacuum fills up more than once. So must have had 20 to 30 gallons in it up to the the marker and like three inches from the top to spill out over the floor in our um, fitness room and our storage room um, so I pumped it out again and it was just it's just pouring in I think on the front of our house on um, that walk is filled with water it's been raining um, a lot of d yesterday into today the snow's still melting away um, so I've been we've been pumping it out once a day for the last few days because I'm thinking it'll just melt eventually and, and get going and then um, I said well what did I say last week to you guys what did I say last week when I'm talking to you guys 
I'm talking to this dude right here, okay? And what did I say last week? I said, when you got a problem, get it done right. Get it done right. Get rid of that unwanted adventure. Spend the money and increase your abundance and increase your impact. So I'd separated it and checked to make sure the sump pump was pumping because I thought maybe that's the problem, but I didn't want to detach all the parts. So I did a little bit of it myself. The sump pump is working. I plugged it into a hose going out the window, got things all into shape, um, went upstairs and called the plumber and said, hey, when can we get on your schedule? So they're coming tomorrow. And it's not in my budget. I hate that. I hate that. You got to hate that with a passion. You got to hate going into debt. If you're in debt right now, don't make it any worse. You got to hate it. Like not just dislike it. You got to hate it. And I hate going into my emergency fund just as much as I used to hate going into debt. But that's what it's there for. So we got the plumber coming out. We may need to insulate the line and do some extra steps, but we're going to get her done right for two reasons. So that I can have none of those adventures anymore. And so I can increase my abundance and increasing both of those, decreasing and increasing those in turn will increase my impact. And hopefully these stories have made an impact on you. If you need help with your consumer debt, if you need help setting a budget and looking at your finances, that's what I do. I've taught financial peace with my wife a number of times. I coach people on how to get out of debt. I coach people on how to get money. And you know what? I'm really, really good at math. And you know, I had a debt problem years ago. And it's not a math problem getting out of debt. Spending is not a math problem. Budgeting is not a math problem. I'm a math I'm not a genius, but I like to say that because my parents always said that. I'm a math genius, and it's not a math problem. It's behavior. It's you. It's you, 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 you. And so if you need help on you, I can listen, and I can help you find a way to get through that. Simple math to set your budget, and the bigger arithmetic... <laughs> The bigger challenge of looking at your beliefs, your values, and uh, your behavior patterns um, and help you to create better behavior patterns, a better place to live, a better future of less unwanted adventure, more abundance, and a greater impact in your life. My name is Brian. You be blessed.